Right, well since my last video, um, when I was out and about playing with the, the radio, um, I had a few problems. Um, the number of problems I had were a faulty connection one of the fuse holders and a dry connection to the solar panel, which those combination of those two things um, meant the, the radio I was using at the time, which is my Ellicraft KX3, um, was just having some fits. So I couldn't actually transmit at the, the power level I wanted to transmit at. Um, it was only transmitting at 3 watts um, when it was on internal power, because uh, that's the setting I had it to. And uh, it going between external power and internal power ad hocly meant it was doing uh, no end of weird things with the radio. So, what I've done, um, I wasn't particularly happy with my power options I had before. Um, I have still got the same battery. Um, but I had acres and acres of cabling that went between the uh, controller unit, um, my power meter, the battery, the solar panel, and it was always a problem and it was always a knotted up mess. So what I've done is I've rationalised everything and mounted everything onto the battery. Um, and I'm using some cell adhesive tape which holds on number plates so it's pretty strong and pretty reliable although I suspect I may need to um, man it up a couple of places in a couple of areas so first of all the battery 7.2 ampere battery it's a heavy lump I know it is um, but there's not a lot else I can do about that I could spend an awful lot more money on a uh, lithium battery which would be lighter uh, for the same amount of power but I'm happy carrying this because this is the only heavy part I do carry um, from the battery I've go into a, a normal fuse uh, this one is a 15 amp fuse um, and it goes into a what's up meter and I don't know if you've seen these before but what's up meters are absolutely fantastic if uh, if you want to see what's actually going on um, notice here let me get my pencil notice here that's the, the voltage of the battery this gives my current um, power usage um, coming from the battery. You can wire these up either way around. You can plug these in the opposite way around so you can see what's going into the battery or what's coming out of the battery. Uh, this configuration I want to know what's coming out of the battery um, and uh, this will show me as well uh, if it was wired the other way around it would show me what power what charging was going back into the battery um, from the solar panel for instance. Down here it circulates between watt ampere, um, voltage minimum, voltage peak um, what power um, uh, average etc and it cycles through all the different um, the, the different ranges and then up here it also gives me a current draw as well how much current draw is being taken out of the battery incredibly useful little meters um, they use a lot of these in remote control um, airplanes I've noticed um, and in fact that's where I bought this one from it was from a model store again I've mounted that on there with some uh, number plate adhesive tape um, it's very sticky but not permanent so if I need to replace the battery I can pull this off very gently and very carefully um, the charge unit itself this is my solar panel charge unit here um, that's the load battery plugs in here panel goes in here that's what goes off to this cable here uh, and tells me the state of the battery and it tells me whether I've got a load and whether it's charging or not um, so this little gubbins does all the work. This came with the actual um, solar panel that I purchased. And then what I've done is I've just um, crudely, at the moment, taped this off to um, some banana plugs, uh, four mil banana sockets, which um, my, uh, my, my KX3 plugs into this on this end, and the cable that I've got for that's got some fuse holders on it as well. Um, so that goes off to that side. The only change I am going to make is I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side for the solar panel because at the moment it's just one long wire and I'm going to do the same thing this side as well so that uh, that be taped down and it will cause um, it, will, it will mean that there's not so much tension and flexing going on with these cables up here which is where I had the fault before um, so I'm going to remove um, all the stresses out of this cable and just tape it down the side I suspect as per usual haven't done that because I've run out of line sockets and line plugs um, so uh, so that should be make it tidier. Haven't taken it out, haven't tried it out and about yet, so there may be some other adjustments I want to make, but um, all in all I'm quite chuffed with, with that. 
it will save a lot of cabling um, and uh, hopefully save a lot of problems on the actual on the actual day. Now the other thing that I've made up ready for the next time I go out and about is a external PTT stroke microphone cable for the um, for the KX3. Um, now when I bought my KX3 I didn't actually buy a microphone because I've got a Heil headset um, and if anybody that knows that has the, the actual KX3 um, when you actually transmit um, you, on the actual radio you have to press the transmit button on the radio which is okay but um, if you're if you're a bit comfortable and you have to lean across the radio it can be a bit of a faff so what I've done is I've created a, a cable which we literally just plug um, straight into uh, the microphone socket and then at the other end here I've got a PTT line which can go in here um, when I bought my higher headset I had the PTT trigger as well and that's just an inch and a quarter mono jack and then my microphone lead plugs into here a couple of settings you need to change on the radio menu the mic button setting do not even see that mic button setting when you buy them um, at the factory that, that'll be the setting it'll be PTT up and down um, if you ever plug your headset straight into it you have to turn it off otherwise it will permanently key up but you can just make it to a, um, a PTT setting as well with the PTT setting simply just plug your microphone in like so and then you've got a PTT line and a microphone line on at the same time so how I actually made that um, because I don't know if anybody of you have ever tried to solder one of these bad boys but I can assure you um, they're not great fun so I ended up buying a cable which was um, a four pole three and a half mil plug to a four pole three and a half mil plug about a meter and a half along I cut the cable and I soldered uh, the plug the PTT line in place and then I um, I carried two of the cables through to the actual microphone and if you want to know which one's which or on the plug itself the tip on the very base are for the microphone and then these two are for the PTT um, if you follow the circuit diagram for the actual microphone that they supply with the radio you can insert a resistance into these to simulate the up and down um, buttons on the microphone but if you just short those two I'll actually give you a PTT line on the last outing as well um, you may have noticed that I had a cracked knob uh, Stanton um, uh, Walters and Stanton supplied me a new knob uh, on the very same day they were absolutely fantastic great customer service seems that Ellicraft have got a problem with these knobs uh, and they're evaluating the the current setup at the moment but uh, replace that knob no problems at all, whip it off, whip another one back on. So all ready to go for the next hour?